combustion synthesis decomposition single displacement and double displacement reactions. So uh, there are different types of reactions and knowing more about them can help you identify what type of reaction you're looking at when you look at a chemical equation. So the first we're going to look at is combustion. Combustion is the rapid chemical combination of a substance with oxygen that releases heat and light and produces a flame. So for example, C3H8 gas is propane plus oxygen gas, and if we're going to balance the equation, yields three carbon dioxides plus four H2O liquid. So this is a chemical reaction that is a combustion. This propane is combined with this oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water and then you're going to see heat and light and you're going to see a flame that erupts from that. So a combustion reaction has to have these parts so that it can be considered combustion. Next is synthesis or combination reactions when two or more substances react to form one product. So let's say 2H2 plus O2 reacts to form 2H2 Oh. These reactants are combining together to form a product, water. The next type of reaction we have is a decomposition. This is when a compound breaks down into two or more substances. So here we could take this reaction and put 2H2O yields 2H2 plus O2. And what's happening is that this compound right here is breaking apart into these two substances and that is what we consider a decomposition. Single displacement. Single displacement reactions are when an atom or an ion of one compound is replaced by an atom of another element. So let's take for example zinc plus CuSO4 is going to yield zinc SO4 plus Cu. This is what happens this zinc here replaces the Cu. So they switch spots and notice now zinc is, is combined with SO4 plus copper which is, which is replaced and is left out. So now we have that as a product. So when we want to let's say singly displace we have to remember to move the one ion. We have to remember to move the one atom or ion of one compound and replace it by another. Double displacement, as you can imagine, means that an element from two different compounds displace each other to form two new compounds. So in this case, let's take for example, let's make it general, A, B equation plus C and D is now going to yield, what we're going to see is now it's going to yield A, D plus C, B. So now that we see that, we have AD plus CB. And this tells me now that I have A is replacing this C, and the C is replacing the A here. And so this is why you see CB together and AD together. That is a double displacement reaction. So if you see something that is in that form, you know you're looking at a double displacement reaction.